Hi students, good afternoon. Today we discuss about the subject sixth standard geography. In the past class, we discussed the eight planets of the eight lines only. But in this class, we discuss the eight planets, eight lines with the elaborations. Okay. First, we see the uh, how many planets. The eight planets of the eight lines. First is the Mercury. Second one is Venus. Third one is Earth. Fourth one Mars. Fifth one Jupiter. Sixth one Saturn. Seventh one Uranus. Eighth one Neptune. Now we see the first one of the Mercury. Mercury, the nearest planet to the Sun. Which one is the nearest planet to the Sun means that is Mercury. Mercury is the smallest and closest planet to the Sun. Mercury is the very smallest planet. Mercury is the very smallest planet and the closest planet to the Sun. It is named after the Roman deity Mercury. That means messenger of God. Mercury means the messenger of God, which was named by the Roman deity. It is an airless and a waterless planet. Why we are saying that airless and waterless planet means in the earth we are living. We have the air, water, land, forest and every atmosphere in our earth. But in the Mercury, there is no airless atmospheres and waterless. So we are called that airless, airless and waterless planet. It does not have an atmosphere. There is no atmosphere in the Mercury and so experiences extra, extreme of temperature. It does not have an atmosphere, atmosphere and so experiences extreme of temperature. That is a overall extreme of temperature we have in the Mercury. It has no natural satellite. There is no natural satellite in the Mercury. In the Earth, we have the one natural satellite, that is the Moon. The natural satellite means in the Earth, we have the Moon. But in Mercury, there is no natural satellite. Again, I explain it once, the Mercury, the nearest planet to the Sun. The Mercury is the nearest planet to the Sun. Mercury is the smallest and the closest planet to the Sun. It is named after the Roman deity. It is named after the Roman deity Mercury. Mercury means the messenger of God. It is an airless and a waterless planet. It is the airless and a waterless planet. We can't live in that Mercury because there is no air, there is no water, there is no atmosphere. So as a human, we can't live in the Mercury. It does not have an atmosphere also and so experiences extreme of temperature. Most experience extreme of temperature we have in the Mercury. It is It has no natural satellite also. In our Earth, we have the one natural satellite that is moon but in here the mercury there is no natural satellite uh, in the mercury second one venus first one we discussed the mercury second planet is a venus now we see that venus venus is the second planet from the sun which one is the second planet from the sun means with, that is venus it is the hottest planet very hottest planet is a Mercury and then Venus also because it is nearest to the Sun. So that's why we are called that is the hottest planet. It is the hottest planet. Third point, it is called the Earth twin, Earth and the Venus same size. Why we just call the Earth twin as a Venus means Earth and the Venus is the same size. We have it. That's why we are called as the Earth twin. Fourth point, it is almost the same size as the Earth. Already we discussed about that. Third point, it is the almost the same size as the Earth. It has the longest rotation period. Uh, Venus, it has the longest rotation period, 243 days. 
among the planet in the solar system among the planet in the solar system it has the longest rotation period how many how many periods 243 days is. how many days 243 days among the planet in the solar system it rotates in the opposite direction it rotates in the opposite direction to all other planets except uranus it rotates in the opposite direction to all other planets in all other planets it is the opposite direction it rotates but except uranus it has no natural satellite like mercury it has no natural satellite like mercury already we discussed about the mercury the mercury also don't have the natural satellite the same wise the venus also don't have the natural satellite it is named it is named after the roman goddess of love and beauty the name of the it is named after the roman goddess of love and beauty <laughs> it is often visible in the morning and evening so it is frequently called as morning star and the evening star in the star we can see in that morning time and the evening time when in morning time what kind of star we can see that means that is sun in the evening time the moon that was it is it is often visible in the morning and the evening so it is frequently called as morning star and the evening star that is the second one of the venus now we discuss about the third one earth our planet the hum which were human animals and uh, everything will uh, nature and everything will live only in the air that year we just we just discuss about in here in the third one the living planet the living planet the earth is the third planet from the sun the earth is the third planet from the sun it is the fifth largest planet in the solar system which one is the fifth planet in the solar system means that is earth it is the fifth largest planet in the solar system it is called the blue planet or watery planet it is called the blue planet or watery planet why we are think, why we are say that this is called the blue planet and watery planet means because Three fourth of the Earth, which was covered by only in the water, so we just call that it is called the blue planet or a watery planet. Fourth point, because three fourth of the Earth is covered by a water. Three fourth means we have the four directions. In the four directions, we have in three directions. In the water is covered by the Earth. So we just called that the blue planet or a watery planet. the earth is only planet in the solar system the earth is only planet in the solar system which is not named after greek or roman deity which is not named after greek or roman deity it is the only planet known to support life which one is the uh, which one which one of the uh, planet is support the life means it is a earth because there is a human being and the animals the atmospheres natural we can uh, everything is live in the earth that means it is the only planet known to support life life is possible on earth life is possible on earth because of the presence of land air water why we just uh, say that life is possible on the earth means in the earth only have the land water and the air yet revolves around the sun at a speed about 30 km per second yet revolves around the sun at a speed about 30 km 30 km speed it revolves the sun per seconds 30 km per seconds the only natural satellite of the earth is moon which one is the natural satellite of the earth means that is moon again i give the explanation the three one mercury venus and earth first one the eight planets the first one is mercury the nearest planet mercury is the smallest and the closest planet to the sun 
it is named after the roman deity mercury messenger of messenger to the god it is an airless and waterless planet it is an airless and a waterless planet it does not have an atmosphere there is no atmosphere there is no air there is no water that's why we are saying the mercury is the waterless and airless planet and at the same time the atmosphere also it has no natural satellite there is no natural satellite in the mercury and second one is venus venus is the second planet from the sun venus is the second planet from the sun so that way we are calling that this is the hottest planet which one is the hottest planet means venus and mercury because that is the nearest to the sun that the, so it is the hottest planet it is called the earth twin it is called a earth twin why we just call it is a earth twin means the earth and the venus is the same sizes that's why we are called that a earth twin the uh, fourth point it is almost the same size as the earth it is almost same size as the earth it has the longest rotation period it has the longest rotation period 243 days is among the planet in the solar system it, um, it rotates in the opposite direction it rotates in the opposite direction except the uranus except the uranus it has no natural satellite like mercury mercury also don't have the natural satellite the same way the venus also don't have the natural satellite it is often visible in the morning and the evening it is often visible in the morning and the evening so it is frequently called a morning star and the evening star so that way we are calling that morning star and the evening star third one is the earth third 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 planet is earth the living planet why we just call as a living planet already i give the explanation because the human animals nature everything we have is that way we are called that living planet is one is earth the earth is the third planet from the sun which one is the third planet from the sun the earth it is the fifth largest planet in the solar system it is the fifth la fifth largest planet in the solar system it is called the blue planet or water planet why we just call the blue uh, blue planet or watery planet means 3 by 4 3 4 we have the only water in the air that's why we called as the blue planet or a watery planet because 3 4 of the earth is covered by water the earth is only planet in the solar system which is not named after greek or roman deity it is the only planet known to support life it is the only planet known to support life life is possible on the earth why we just say the yeah, life is possible on the earth because of the presence of land air water because of because of the presence of land air water when earth only we have the land air water nature everything so that way we are saying life is possible on earth because of the presence of land air water earth revolves around the sun at a speed earth revolves around the sun at the speed 30 kilometers per second the only natural satellite of the earth is moon in the night time we just see that the only natural satellite of the earth the earth is moon the fourth planet the fourth planet is mars it's called as a red planet mars is mars is the fourth planet from the sun around and the second planet in the solar system after mercury the mars is the fourth planet from the sun and the second planet in the solar system after mercury mercury is a first planet in small size the second one is the mars it is named after the roman god of war it is named after the roman god of war it appears red in color it appears red in color due to the presence of iron oxide on its surfaces it is often described as the red planet it is often uh, described as the red planet on 24th september 2014 mangalyaan mars orbiter mission mars orbiter mission the short name of mom launched by the isro indian space research organization again i say that indian space research organization on 24 september 2014 mangalyaan mars orbiter mission the short name of mom launched by the 
ISRO, ISRO में ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization, Mars has two natural satellites, Mars has two natural satellites, namely Phobos and Deimos, Phobos and Deimos, what is the two natural satellites in the Mars, Phobos and Deimos, many orbiters and Karab, Rovers have been launched to explore this planet. Many orbiters and rovers have been launched to explore this planet. Mars. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun and the second smallest planet in the solar system after Mercury. It is named after the Roman god of war. It appears red in color due to the presence of iron oxide on its surfaces. It is often described as the red planet. On 24th September 2014, Mars Orbiter Mission, that means the short name of MAM, launched by ISRO, Indian Space, Or Indian Space Research Organization. Mars has two natural satellites, one is the Phobos and the second one is Deimos. Many orbiters and the rovers have been launched to explore this planet. The fifth one is Jupiter, the longest planet. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun and the largest planet in the solar system. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun and the largest planet in the solar system. This is the fifth planet at the same time this is the largest planet in the solar system. It is named after the king of the Roman gods. It is named after the king of Roman gods. It is the third brightest. It is the third brightest object in the night sky after moon and Venus. After moon and Venus, this is the third brightest object in the night sky. It is the fastest spinning planet in the solar system. It is the fastest spinning planet in the solar system. It is called a gas gain planet. It is called a gas gain planet. It is atmosphere is the mostly made up of hydrogen and helium. It is the it is atmosphere is the mostly made up of hydrogen and helium like the sun. It has the largest number of natural satellite. It has the largest number of natural satellite. The natural satellites Ivo, Europa, Ganymede and Salisto are the few large satellites of Jupiter. Ivo, Europa, Ganymede and Callisto are a few large satellites of Jupiter. Sixth one, Saturn, the ringed planet. Sixth one is the ringed planet that is Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun and the second largest planet in the solar system after Jupiter. Jupiter is the first largest planet in the solar system. The second one is Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet from the sun and the second largest planet in the solar system after Jupiter. It's named Roman god of agriculture. It is named as the Roman god of agriculture. It has many rings around it. It has many rings around it. These rings are huge. These, thing, these rings are huge and are mostly made up of ice, rocks and dust. These rings are huge and are mostly made up of ice, rocks and dust. Saturn has 62 natural satellites around it. Saturn has 62 natural satellites around it. The specific gravity of Saturn is less than of water. The specific gravity, which gravity we have it in the Saturn means that is a water. Again, I explain the fourth one, Mars, the red planet. Mars is the fourth planet from the sun and the second smallest planet in the solar system after Mercury. It is named after the Roman god of war. It appears red in color due to the presence of iron oxide on its surfaces. It is often described as the red planet. On 24th September 2014, Mangalyan, Mars Orbiter Mission, and that means the short name of MAM launched by the ISRO, Indian Space Research Organization. Mars has two natural satellites, one is the Phobos and the another one is Deimos. Many orbiters and the rovers have been launched to explore this planet. Fifth one, Jupiter, the longest planet. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the sun 
and the largest planet in the solar system. The first planet is uh, which one is the largest mean Jupiter. It is the name. It is named after the king of the Roman gods. It is named after the king of Roman gods. It is the third brightest object. This is the the third brightest object in the night sky after moon and Venus. It is the fastest spinning planet. It is the fastest spinning planet in the solar system. It is called a gas giant planet. It is atmosphere in the mostly made up of hydrogen and helium like the sun. It has the largest number of natural satellites. It has the largest number of la natural satellites. But the big, the largest satellite is Io, Europa, Ganymede, and the Galisto are a few large satellites of Jupiter. Saturn, sixth one is Saturn, the ringed planet. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun and the second largest planet in the solar system after Jupiter. First one, first, first largest planet is Jupiter. The second planet is Saturn. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun and the second largest planet in the solar system after Jupiter. Named Roman God of Agriculture. It is named a Roman God of Agriculture. It has many rings around it. These rings are huge and are mostly made up of ice, rocks and dust. Saturn has 62 natural satellites around it. Its specific gravity of Saturn is less than of water. Seventh planet, Uranus. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun. It was the first to be discovered with a telescope by the astronomer William Herschel in 1781. It was the first to be discovered with a telescope by the astronomer William Herschel in 1781. It appears green due to the presence methane. It appears green. It appears like a green color due to the presence methane. It is named after the Greek god of the sky. It is named after the Greek god of the sky. It rotates on its axis. It rotates on its axis from east to west like Venus. It rotates on its axis from east to west like Venus. It appears to orbit the sun on its side like a rolling ball. It appears to orbit the sun on its side like a rolling ball. Uranus has 27 natural satellites. Uranus has 27 natural satellites. Next one is Neptune. Neptune, the coldest planet. Coldest planet. Neptune is the eighth and the farthest planet from the sun. Farthest means large, long distances. Very long distance. Neptune is the eighth, uh, eighth and the farthest planet from the sun. The there are strong winds in the planet. There are strong winds in the planet. It is named after the Roman god of sea. It is the name. It is named after the Roman god of sea. Neptune has 14 natural satellites. In the largest being Triton. Neptune has 14 natural satellites. The largest being Triton. Neptune is the one of the one of the coldest planet in the solar system. Neptune is the one of the coldest planet in the solar system. Okay, children, we just finished the eight planets and after the section, we see the overall unit.